It's been a really exciting event. We've had a huge number of youngsters coming through to our stand. They seem to be really enthusiastic about science and engineering and math, so it's been excellent so far. So our brief was to try to enthuse youngsters about biosciences and life sciences in particular. And we've tried to bring the sorts of things that we do in our everyday work at AstraZeneca here into the life sciences lab and use that as a way to demonstrate to youngsters some of the hands-on practical activities and skills that are needed. So we have a variety of routes, including modern apprenticeships, um, routes from university and uh, routes from the PhD level as well. And of course, from individuals who may currently be employed in other companies as well. So there's a whole variety of different routes and at different levels of the science education ladder. It helps to demonstrate to the youngsters the total breadth that's science, technology, engineering and maths and how you can use all those different types of subjects in science, in engineering, for a whole different variety of careers and roles. And hopefully that's what we've been able to convey. So we've had a whole range of questions. I mean, we've got one part of the stand which is all about the body and body parts. So we've got youngsters who say, but where does the kidney go? Where does the heart go? Through to some really um, sort of sophisticated questions about how do drug molecules interact with proteins and, and receptors. So a whole range of really interesting questions from a whole different group of youngsters. Well, for us, what the, it's a really good opportunity for us to share our passion for science and for our volunteers and STEM ambassadors to help to do that. And our volunteers get an awful lot personally from this sort of event because they can come out, it's a day away from their normal activities and they can really share their passion.